Welcome to the video. What you might be thinking is, I typed promiscuous into the search bar on YouTube, and this is not the video I was intending on getting. Because I'm here to inform you that it is in fact a networking video. And furthermore, you can use the concept of promiscuous mode in a network adapter to actually help you build out your home lab environment. What can you expect in this video? I'm going to be doing an example of three virtual machines, and they're all going to be on a host-only network. And then I'm going to be demonstrating between two of those machines, sending data back and forth, and then having the third machine, the Kali Linux machine, able to observe the traffic between those two machines. And then I'm going to turn off promiscuous mode, and we're going to see that we can no longer see that traffic. All right, let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is ensure that you have actually have three separate virtual machines that are attached to a host-only network. Now, in this particular lab setting, I have all of these machines here on the same network. And if I look over here, I got 10, 10, 0, 2 on a 16 network. I look over at my Metasploitable here on the top right, and it ends in a 4. And if I open up my terminal in my Ubuntu machine here, do a quick IPA, we can see that I am a number five on, on this particular network. Because they're on the same network and I don't have a firewall set up on the Metasploitable top right, I do have a firewall on the bottom right machine and there's no firewall on the Kali machine here. I should be able to ping between these two machines. There you go, and we got some we got some packets back here, and I'll ping the Ubuntu machine as well. And we get some packets back. Setting up a host-only network is not actually that hard, and if you follow the link in the drop-down, I actually have a, a whole video dedicated to how to set up host-only networks in VirtualBox. So go ahead and watch that. In this particular case, I want to demonstrate that actually configure our virtual machines so that we can monitor from one machine, so let's say our Kali machine here, traffic that's actually coming from Metasploitable machine and our Ubuntu machine. So what I need to do first off is I'm going to open up a port on my Metasploitable machine. So I'm going to do that with Netcat. Start a listening port. So now that machine is literally has a port open and it is set to be listening. We zoom down to the bottom right here. Let's go ahead and actually connect to that machine, the Metasploitable machine. Open up Netcat here, and I'm going to put the IP address of our target, which is Metasploitable up top, and the port that we set to be open. If I hit Enter, we can see on the top that a connection has been established, and I'm going to send some data now across the network to the Metasploitable machine. Okay, we can see in the top right, top here that data actually made it in. Now let's send some data back. And the data is going back and forth. Now the question is, if I am on my Kali Linux machine, will I be able to see the data going back and forth between the Ubuntu and the Metasploitable machine? And the answer is yes, as long as you configure this machine to be in what's called promiscuous mode. So here's a, here's a quick drawing of our host-only network. We've got our Kali ending in a 2, our Metasploitable ending in a 4, and then we have the Ubuntu that's ending in a 5. And now we've proven now that the Metasploitable and the Ubuntu machine can communicate with each other. I want to see if this machine here can actually check in and see what data is happening between two machines. Let's go and check in on our Kali machine and look at the network settings. Go down to network and we are configured in the host only. That's great. And we're going to open up advanced. And so right now we are configured as promiscuous mode set to allow all. Our options would be deny, so that's turning it off, and allow VM, so just VMs. If I go over to my Metasploitable, let's take a look at what's going on there. Open up settings, go to network, 
and go look at advanced. And right now I'm set to deny. And let's look at Ubuntu. Settings, network, and this one is also set to deny. Going back to our topography here, we can see that my Kali machine is set with promiscuous mode turned on, and then these machines are set to deny. So if you're if you're curious about what promiscuous mode is, it's essentially is saying that when this network interface card on this machine is attached to a network, that whenever packets are going across the network, all of those packets are going to be received by the network interface of this machine and going to be processed and actually visible to any kind of monitoring hardware or software. If I were to run monitoring software on this network, I will not be able to see the stuff that is going between this machine on the top right and the Kali machine. Let's do let's let's prove the point here. I'm going to cancel the connection between these two machines and I am going to log in as root here. Now as root, I'm going to open up Wireshark, which is my monitoring software of choice. And my Kali machine is set to ETH0. Let's start the capture here. I'm going to open up that listening port on the Metasploitable machine again here. And there we go. It's set to listening. Fly on down to the machine down here. And we're going to connect to it. And right away on the top, on the left here, we can actually see that that connection happened. We got the SYN, the SYN ACK, and the ACK. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and actually send some data across between these machines. Data went across and we can see a communication between port 35,160 and port 444. That's the that's literally the packet that was containing that message of hello. Let's send something back. Boom. We have that communication again. Let's expand our Wireshark here, and I'm going to stop the capture, and I want to go all the way back up to the point in time when we had a, an initial communication between the client and the server, the server being the machine with port 444 open. Let's do a right click on this packet here. We're going to do follow TCP stream. And right away, we can actually see the communication that happened between those, those machines. Hello and OK there. We were actually able to see from this machine, based on the configuration of that network interface card, traffic that was happening between this machine here and this machine here. If we're doing this on our own network, we could do the same thing as long as your network interface card actually allows for promiscuous mode. Let's take this a step further. I want to prove a point here, and I'm actually going to turn promiscuous mode off of the Kali, and then we're going to do the same action between this machine and this machine, and then see, are we able to see the same thing where, with words going between these two machines? Okay, let's go up to machine, go to settings, go to network, advanced and now I'm going to hit deny and there's no need to update the machine or, or reboot the machine it just automatically does it let's start a new capture here cancel the connection communication from this machine to that machine and start that listening server again and then go down to Ubuntu here and we're going to connect to that machine and so a connection has has happened but we can see on the left here that what the Wireshark in Kali did not capture that it did not see these two machines communicating so right away there's the benefit of having promiscuous mode turned on is that you can actually monitor the things that are happening on your network isn't that cool
All right, hey, I've got a couple videos up on the screen here that I, I think you're going to enjoy. Go ahead and give them a watch, and we'll see you soon.